Hello, do I want to say Alice? I'm of the stars. I have a story to tell you about the natural world and about the angelic and demon realms. Um, it's a comparison, sort of. A week or so ago, I was out in uh, the northern part of Las Virgenes Open Space Preserve in the Los Angeles area the Santa Monica Mountains, and I was walking a kind of a plateau area. Uh, and there are a lot of ravens that hang out in that area. Um, I've taken videos of them before, sometimes in great batches. They all get together. There's like raven tribes that get together. And sometimes one tribe will be off by itself. Or there'll be a loner raven or two sitting in a tree. A lot of ravens. So I was walking along the plateau in a loop uh, trail, and I I noticed in the air the first thing I noticed um, two birds fighting, big ones fighting in mid air. Uh, one swooped down upon the other, and the the one that it swooped down upon tumbled over in the air, um, so that it's it's its feet and its, the claws on its feet were upwards and the one that was descending upon it and swooping down on it um, engaged the claws of the other with its claws so there was like a claw fight between their feet in the air and I, then I noticed that the one on top, the one that was um, descending was a raven and the one underneath was, it, was a, a red-tailed hawk, a young red-tailed hawk. And so they disengaged their claws, and the red-tailed hawk turned over right-wise and started off to escape. I think they're slower um, flyers. They're not like soaring on thermals too much compared to, compared to the raven. seem to have just a knack for it. The raven may be a lighter bird with a, a close to the same wingspan as a juvenile uh, red-tailed hawk. That's my guess. Anyway, so the raven started off after the red-tailed hawk in hot pursuit, and I saw them heading off in the distance, right? And then more ravens, raven friends of the first raven, came in and, and followed, followed along after, maybe five or six of them following on, having a good time of it, right? And so the, ra the uh, red-tailed hawk was greatly outnumbered, so... It's, what I noticed it did was it swooped down along the contour of the hills, just like folding hills there. And it was very close, very close to the earth. Its wingtips were almost brushing the tops of the chaparral. And, and, it, and it's, the stride of its, of its wingspan and its, the, the length of those turnings of the wing were long, very giant-sized and long, so that it was swooping like this over one area and then to the next and then on to the next. And the raven was, I think, unable to, to, to fall down on it and attack it because it was so close to the earth. I think the raven might have hit itself against the ground if it had swooped down in that manner. They're more like thermal soars and, and wind wingers, the ravens. Anyway, so that, that pursuit was, was really traumatic, very interesting. And they went off in the distance and disappeared. Then there were other raven situations uh, along the way, two ravens sitting in a tree that soared off together. And uh, one lone raver, and then I remember when I was nearly through the loop, one low, lone raven was, was flying along in the direction of where everybody else had gone some while ago, calling out in the voice that was plaintively, I thought, where are you? Where did you go? Like that. I'm sure it found them. I think that ravens may sense the trail of other ravens through some invisible um, turbulence in the air that, that like, um, uh, a systematic, periodic,
turbulence in the air that wafts after the, the, the raven that's flying off so that the, the lost little raven, like that one, can, can find its way through the, the raven's signature periodic movements of the air. <laughs> I think that's how they do it. I don't think it's through pheromones or anything like that. They, they sniff the air, they know the air, and they follow the air. So, so now on to demons and, and angels. Some years ago, and I've talked about this before, there was quite an incident. As I was heading from my home, where was that at that time? Was that Santa Monica? No, it was in, uh, in, the, in the San Fernando Valley. I was heading off to a meditation group that went, met in West L.A., and it was a long trip at night, and I had to be there by a certain hour. And I encountered a lot of trouble, both arriving at the meditation group and then departing later on, time after time. I would run into trouble. And one of the troubles I ran, ran into was this one. I was driving along, and there were all kinds of obstructions. There was freeway traffic obstruction. I was driving along a shore route by the ocean, but I had to move inland in order to get to the place, to my destination. I had to move inland. And the closer I got to the freeway, the more congested the roads were. All the roads were tied up because no one could get out on the freeway because the freeway had some kind of problem. Right? So, so I was afraid I'd be too late to get there, and I had to be there on time. It's very important. So I was driving, trying to improvise as I went to find a route that would work. And after a while, I was within maybe a mile of the place, and uh, I noticed behind me that, that as I progressed up the hill towards the place, the, the lights of the city were, were going off. The... The lights of the city behind me, there was a blackout that was following the back of my car, or pretty close to it, up to about a block or two away from me, all the way up the hill to the place where I had to go. And at the same time, I sensed descending power, um, a descending power of angelic power that was pursuing something, rather like the pursuit of the raven, uh, the, the raven made towards the hawk that was beneath it, there was a loping energy of darkness following me up the hill. In a trail like the trail of the hawk along the chaparral, it, it, was, um, it was touching the tops of the buildings as it went past and, 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 and moving like this towards my car up the hill and descending Descending from the heavens was the angelic power of the most grand angel I have ever met. I was thinking Archangel Michael, possibly Metatron, descended down, and as its wingtips, which spanned all of West L.A., uh, touched, touched the buildings, the, the power went off in, in the buildings. Angels are that grand. They're that grand. So, now you know the story. The darkness did not reach me, and I got to my destination safely. <laughs>